How's it going everyone? Mana Spider here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today we are going to continue uh, running through all of the older theme decks and seeing how they perform. So the previous deck I looked at was the Max Strike deck and first impression of it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed playing it. Um, this deck is interesting. I do wish it had like one more copy of Lucario because only one is a bit frustrating especially when it's a prize card but overall I really enjoyed this deck. So today we're going to be running in at least three more games with this deck, giving it a second chance. So previous video was the first impressions, checking out what the deck was like, and now I want to give it a bit more mileage. And now that I know how the deck functions, have a few more games with it. Um, oh, going up against Towering Heights, that is very good. I enjoy going up against this deck because it is a very good deck to test your theme deck against. Uh, I still rate Towering Heights is one of the top decks. Um, let's see. I want to go second. Ideally, I want to go second. Mug Strike does really well on the second turn. It's all right in the first turn if you have like Gumshoes. Um, but ideally, you want to be going second, uh, either with Solrock for double draw or with Gibble for Ascension, which is pretty cool. I keep getting Gabite to my opening hand. Like ideally, you want Garchomp because you can ascend into Gabite and then just play Garchomp for the next turn and start attacking. That is like perfect world scenario. Not what I got, but that's okay. I can use this Gabite to evolve a Gibbo on the bench. Okay, time pole. Bit of a slow start for my opponent. I'm okay. Uh, that's actually not a slow start for my opponent. That's a terrifying start for my opponent because I'm probably going to be seeing 60, 60 damage next turn. Okay, Riyalu, there's no point to play you because I've already got one down, and there's only one Lucario. So let us ascend. And what do we ascend into? A Gabite. So, I've only got one Gabite, uh, Garchomp in my deck, which is a bit frustrating. And my Lucario is there, which is very good to see. Uh, only having one Garchomp is a bit of a problem though, and one of my other prize cards is a Gabite as well. And a Gumshoes is one as well. Okay, so it looks like a lot of my evolution Pokemon are my prize cards, which is a concern. But hey, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, this is gonna suck. Yeah, this is not ideal. Um, but hey, hey, we might have a Garchomp versus Garchomp game today. Now, see, here's my problem: is I don't really want to deal damage to the Seismitoad, because Thrall's can then be beefy. But I guess there's damage on the bench regardless, so I may as well get some as much off as I can. Um, the problem is I didn't draw Garchomp. Uh, let's see, let's get that down. I'm, I'm throwing down one Riolu as just as a... Oh, sorry, I can't speak today. Throwing down one Riolu as basically a sacrificial that I might need later on to slow my game down a bit. I'm gonna have to ascend just to survive. And let us bring out our Garchomp. Now, this is not a great position. I do have Rescue Stretcher, which is gonna be a way to hopefully deal with this. Um, oh, if I put it a switch, now, I'm in serious trouble. Oh, I'm in serious trouble. This is why I said Towering Heights is such a great deck. It plays so fast. Okay. Um, that Solrock is actually really useful. So the sad thing is I'm going to have to use Cynthia. It's not what I want, but I'm going to have to. Uh, I like saving the Cynthia's for later for Garchomps. This is not looking great. Um, nothing be really benefits from having two energies other than the young goose, but that's if my opponent has Pokemon in their hand, which I doubt they do. So, well, I know they have one more Gibble, I guess, but that's with me. I have to then draw a, you know, but he's weak to the fighting. That doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to try, try and detect stall, um, and I fail. Okay. This is not going to be an easy game. My opponent had a very good start. Very, very good start. Mm. 
Maybe I shouldn't have wasted that, that first guard chomp, but hey. Um, mm, I don't even know what to do next. I think Soul Rock, just to give myself some drawing potential. To just try and slow the game down a little bit. The issue is, I am far behind on energies right now. And that is a serious problem. Both my Cynthia's and I in my discard pile. Which is also a serious problem. Prof is cool, but yeah, I can use it next turn, which is not bad, at least. Um, honestly, I'm just I'm tempted to take the Spirit Tomb, it's just slow, but it doesn't matter because God Tomb's gonna come out. Never mind. Spirit Tomb does nothing. Gibble, I guess, is my best bet. So the reason I was thinking of Spirit Tomb is because it locks down Thrall, but Thrall can just retreat into Garchomp, which is coming next turn. So let's double draw and let's see what we get. Not what I needed. Not at all what I needed. This is gonna be game. Yeah, there's the guard jump as I said. And at the moment, I'm just too far behind on energies. Um, yeah, it's, it's the problem of playing with a very combo -y deck. Is that you you need your combos to go off um, <sighs> first we're down to three prize cards I'm just not getting anything really um, yeah I don't know what to do right now this is unfortunately gonna be game okay well I lost to kick off with um, for promoting towering heights, that's for sure. It really is a great deck. Um, and this was a bit of a bad start for me. I don't know if me going to that first guard chomp was a great idea. Not what I needed. Uh, but hey. Okay, there's another spirit tomb, which ironically is not bad, but it's not gonna help that much. So terrify. Uh, yeah. That was actually pretty decent damage from Spirit Tomb. Because at least Thrall is weak to Psychic, but it's it's not enough. Because our opponent's just going to retreat out now anyway. Okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. Ah, even better, they're going to switch out. Great. And yeah, here comes Garchomp, and that is 100% game. I have no answer to this. So Spirit Tomb, go say hi. And that is game. Well, that's a bit frustrating. Um... Yeah, it happens. So, one loss unfortunately, not a great way to start out, but hey, we can only go up from here. So, overall, yeah, like I said with this deck, it's a really cool deck, but you need things to work. As to why this deck only has one Lucario, I have no idea. Only one Lucario and only two Cynthia's. Um, I feel like that's a really frustrating way of them being like, hey, buy two theme decks, take what you need uh, to make the perfect deck, but hey. Badass mustache, man. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Soaring Skies. This is, again, it's a bit of a tough matchup because some of these Pokemon are resistant to fighting, uh, which I need to remember is not all of my Pokemon. Um, wow, I'm actually gonna be able to get, this is, this is a really good start. Like, this is a really good start. If I can draw an energy, that is huge. Because I can now drop that, ascend, get a Gabite, turn two, get Garchomp. That is awesome. That is very, very awesome. Pretty sure my opponent's going first. I'm like 90% sure my opponent's going first. I hope they're going first. <laughs> Otherwise, that's a bit frustrating. But anyway. Um, yeah, this is quite good. Yes, I want to draw a card. I always want to draw a card. Uh, no, thank you. Don't want to play Soul Rock. Eh. Eh. I don't want to be going first. Um, look, my opponent can't hit me this turn anyway, which is cool. But it does put me a turn behind, which is frustrating. I would have much preferred my opponent to start, but anyway. Okay. Um... Yeah, I forgot my opponent wasn't starting this game. 
Alright, so at least I'm not going to be taking damage this turn, which is quite nice. Um, and next turn I can over... Oh wait, next turn I can't do anything. I'm going to be ascending next turn. Hmm, that's frustrating. Okay, well, turn two I'm going to be ascending. Not, not perfect, but not terrible. So I've got one more bite. My other Garchomp surprise card, but Lucario is here, which is quite good. And both my Cynthia's are there. Okay, not bad. I'm, I'm okay with that. The issue is the Thunderous is going to start hitting, which is a bit terrifying. Um, I'm a bit surprised my opponent didn't play it. There it is. Pilatus. Okay, this is going to suck, because... Yeah, this is actually really frustrating. Hmm. Because I'm going down next turn. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be irritating. Because we can't be good. So, I'm going to retreat into Spirit Tomb. I'm going to irritate my opponent with Terrify. Because now they can't attack. So I'm going for death by a thousand cuts, cuts right now. Uh, and the reason for that is, as much as I don't want to be playing slow against my opponent, I I can't let Garchomp go down this early. And the Garchomp wouldn't have got the KO on Thunderous. I need to either draw Professor this next turn, or I need to stall even longer. Uh, I don't want to use timer ball just yet because I know I don't know what to timer ball. So I'm gonna put this energy onto Soul Rock. And I'm actually gonna play my other Soul Rock because I think it's gonna come up this game quite a few times. And I'm gonna continue just being a pain. Uh, just stalling. I don't I definitely don't like stalling against um, this deck, but I don't really have an option right now. Cause I can bring in the problem is, like, my opponent's just going to put the energy there. Yeah. And then Thunderous Tornado will knock out my Garchomp. Um, and then, then I'm in an even worse position. Arguably. Because, basically, what I, I can bring out Garchomp this turn. I can knock out Thunderous. My opponent brings in Tornadus and knocks out my Garchomp. And then I've got nowhere to deal with Tornadus. So... What I can do is I continue to stall with Spirit Tomb until I have a better option. Honestly, this is a really terrible idea. But I don't have options right now. Yeah, I, I don't have options. Oh, this is frustrating. I don't know what to do. Um, that's actually not bad. Time of ball. Okay, we can at least get a gum shoes out. Okay. Um, I need an energy next turn, that's for sure. Let's put that there. And let's go for double draw. What do we get? Pop pad, not quite useful just yet. Um, didn't I was gonna do 100 damage, which is great. So like, perfect world, next turn, I draw Professor, and then Professor draws me an energy. That would be like, perfect world draw. Because then I'll be able to knock out the Tornadus, which is awesome. Um, but that's not gonna happen. Um, I'm, I'm still okay with that though, because I'm going to be able to get a KO most likely. So I'm pretty sure my opponent has a Pokemon in their hand. I'm like 90% sure my opponent has a Pokemon in their hand. So let's go for Identify. Uh, yeah, okay. They don't have Dratini yet, which, uh, they don't have Dragonite just yet, which is quite nice. They do have another Thunderous, which is frustrating, but hey. Okay. So that's something at least. Um, I'm fully aware my opponent saw that coming, but quite frankly, I didn't have a better play. <laughs> I genuinely didn't have a better play. Um, 
Yeah, I need a professor this next turn to get identify off to do some nice damage. Okay. Um, not what I needed. Truly not what I needed. Um, it's tough. Null's actually useless. Honestly, I'm, I'll put my energy there. So at least I can come in and deal 100 damage. Let's go for identify. Cool. Both got Dragon A, which is a bit frustrating, and they got Fisherman, which is definitely frustrating. Alright. Um, frustrating thing is, Soul Rock actually doesn't get a KO. <clears throat> so I should have put Type Null, an energy on Type Null. Ah, it's frustrating. I should put the energy down on Type Null. I don't know how to bring back this game. Because even if I knock out the Tornadus, which I don't have an option for right now, I knock out Tornadus, and then the Dragon Knight comes in. And my opponent has Fishermen in their hands, so they definitely have energy. So I think I need Soul Rock to draw. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't even know what I'm drawing into right now. Um, I don't think anything's gonna make a difference. I'm actually hoping, oh, I hope to get into a gumshoes, but because I can, I can just pull it straight from the discard pile, put it there. But I need energies as well, which doesn't help me. Oh man. Yeah, that's, this is so game. Oh well. Pretty bad start for this game. Uh, to this video. With Mark Strike. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel it's a cool deck. With a really cool mechanic. But it requires a lot to go off. Like, perfect world scenario. It's awesome. Oh, why didn't we have a Realu? I got Lucario, I should have done that. Man, that was silly of me. That was really silly of me. At least I would have been having draws going. Oh man, that was really silly of me. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Stretcher. Yeah, that was silly of me. Uh, I just noticed it now. Oh well. Too late now. That is definitely going to be game though. Because the thing is... Uh... My opponent's gonna knock out type null. I'll bring gum shoes. My opponent can then just knock out gum shoes. That was stupid. I should have brought out Rialu. Oh well. Okay, well, this might be a bit of a short video then. Um, I got definitely have one more game with this deck. Unfortunately, I've got two losses already because th this one's a loss. Uh, yeah. This, I didn't play fast enough. The problem is you can't give Soaring Skies time. And I gave it exactly that. Which was time. I'm just gonna go into Garchomp just to get a, uh, just to get a KO. It's it's something. It's not much, but it's something. Cool. And that's game. Oh man, I forgot that. I'm thinking of Pokemon, like the games, where dragons are weak to dragons. Wow, I'm really not making good plays today. Okay, so that is God Chomp gone down. And that is game. So, a bit of a frustrating one again. Um, yeah, I feel like I had a good start, but I just wasn't able to establish. My opponent definitely outplayed me as well, I think. Hmm, that's disappointing. Okay, let's try and have, try and have one more with Max Strike. Uh, that was definitely very disappointing, but hey. Okay. So, we want to go second. We want to get Ascension going as quickly as possible. Going up against the Intellian deck, I haven't actually played against that. 
with the stack. So let's see what is coming out. Um, I want to go second. Um, yeah, I've got, I must say I've gotten very lucky with Gibble. I've gotten Gibble in most of my games uh, as my first active Pokemon. So like, I would accept that. I have gotten super lucky with it. I feel like I haven't used Hi Hippopotas properly. Um, maybe let's try and charge up this game. Let's see. Uh, an early Dreadnought is gonna suck. Hmm. Yeah, Dreadnought is really gonna suck. Okay. Um, hmm. Problem is, my opponent playing Dreadnought next turn. I don't even know if I want to waste my energy on this Gibble. But I need to. Even if I end up retreating, that's fine. I need to get, I need to get Ascension off. I can't not ascend. Uh, both Garchomps are there and Lucario is there, which is quite nice. And both Cynthia's are there. Okay. Um... Problem is this Dreadnought is going to just end my life. 100% end my life. What do I put forward next? Because like, the problem is I need Garchomp. <laughs> like I desperately need Garchomp. Um, but this Vice Bite is just going to... It's not going to get the KO. Because Garchomp has zero retreat cost. I think it's still worth it. The problem is I also need to draw energy next turn. Otherwise it wasn't worth it. Let's see. Ascension. Fully Garchomp, let's do it. Come on, be lucky. Draw an energy next turn. I actually need to draw Cynthia. Actually, I need to draw Cynthia next turn. My next draw needs to be Cynthia. Desperately needs to be Cynthia. Let's see. What do I get? If I'm not going down this turn, I will go down next turn. Let's see. What do I get? Cynthia? I got the energy. Now, do I want to... Do I want to deal 100 damage? Or do I want to hold out and wait? Hmm. I, I can't lose Garchomp so early. The entire deck hinges on it. Um. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, the reason that was I can at least get my draw fee back to my hand. Um, the problem is I need to draw into Cynthia. That's the only way I'm going to get rid of this Dreadnought. Yep, there's the energy my opponent needs. Mm. So I'll put Garchomp forward because i got zero retreat cost anyway. So let's put Garchomp forward, and basically I need to draw Cynthia. And I don't draw Cynthia, which means I need to retreat out. I don't need to retreat out, let me see. Time of ball. Ah, uh, oh, come on, I need a Lucario. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Ah, oh, that's really frustrating. I needed Lucario there. So I got Lucario, I could have lucario brought Cynthia in, and then got the KO. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Okay, well, anyway. Lifeless world. Let's bring that back. Ah, oh, man. That's really irritating. Should have gotten one of those at least. Okay, I've got to draw three next turn. 
The issue is if I use that draw three, even if I draw a Cynthia, I can't do anything with it. I'm falling so far behind. Luckily, my opponent's having a pretty bad game as well. Like, they're not having great plays. Um... Oh, this is frustrating. I really needed that to come out. That that was really bad luck. Not getting one of those. Okay, next turn what's happening is Spirit Tomb's going down this turn regardless. Next turn, I'm going to bring Card Trump in, see what my draw is. If I get a bad draw, I'm going to go out into Hippopotas. Just as a sacrifice. Uh, because I'm not having a good energy game this game. Um, I'm going to do my draw three. Hopefully draw either Lucario or draw a Cynthia. Um... And then take it from there. So let's see. Okay, there is Cynthia. So now I need to use Cynthia. And really, really hope I draw energy right now. Okay, that's huge. This was a really, really good draw. Because now I can do all of this. And I don't use pay. Uh, don't use pay. Uh, pop all this turn. Pop out this turn. I uh, don't think I do. But what I would like to do is Big Masala to just get that damage off of me. Let's get that energy down. And let's say goodnight, my friend. For your blades. Okay, that was a recovery. That was a beautiful top deck. Beautiful top deck. Eh, well, not such a great draw. Okay. Are one of my opponents going to go for energies or go for the 60 damage? Um, 60 damage. Okay. I get that. Uh, I'm gonna have 50 HP left, which is a good position for my opponent to be in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Ha I actually should have used Pearl Pad last turn. Because I'm not gonna get a KO this turn. Yeah, I should have actually gone for it. Um, I'm actually okay with the switch. Meh, more or less. Oh no! Okay, how's it going everyone? Uh, unfortunately my connection died there and I lost the connection to the last game. Um, so, I am, like, I left the last game in for the most part because it wasn't interesting. It wasn't an interesting game until, unfortunately, my net dropped. So, at least you got to see most of it. Um, yeah, it was actually a really interesting game. And I'm really disappointed it got cut. It got cut short. Because I... I wasn't sure how it was going to go, and it was, it was, yeah, it was a good game, there's no other way to say it. So that's a bit frustrating, uh, let's jump into one more, um, what do I want, what do I want, what do I want, I think I want to go for Spirit Tomb, first, and let's have Hippopotas on the bench. Um, yeah, it's a bit frustrating that that happens, I really do hate the fact that if you disconnect you can't rejoin your previous game. It's a feature I would love Pokemon to implement, because... It happens to me quite often, it's really frustrating. But hey. Okay, so, um... Hmm, this is gonna be a bit of a tough game, I think. Um... So, like, I got two ways of doing this. So I can go for a super early Cynthia, and then use Spirit Tomb's Lifeless World to bring it back. Or, I can go for Terrify, and slow my opponent down a lot. I do want to put a skateboard in this though. I think that's quite useful. Um, I am going to play Cynthia. Regardless I'm playing Cynthia because my hand is pretty bad. And can be in great value out of that. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. I might... Yeah, okay. What I'm going to do then is go for Terrify. Which prevents him from attacking next turn. Next turn I can play Prof. And then I can use Pulpad to put those two back into my deck. The other option is not using Pearl Pad, and then using Lapis World on the following turn to then um, get those two cards back from my hand. Which is actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that rather. Bit of a slow game. Very slow game, actually. But hey. Um, the thing is, I, I feel like this deck needs to play aggro, and I'm not playing it this game. I'm very aggro. Not playing very aggressive. Okay, let's go for Prof. Eh, eh, eh. Not bad. Um, 
Let's put the energy onto the gibble. And yeah, let's just terrify again. I wish I terrified at 20 damage, that'd be great. Okay. Um Let's see, next turn. I actually think I'm gonna go for Lightless World next turn. Uh just to get those energies back. What if my opponent's gonna retreat here? Ah, oh, switch works. Oh ha, clever, switch. Uh switch retreat. Oh no, they actually went for a redraw. Interesting. The thing is it's gonna take me forever <laughs> to get through this um Ryaku with Spirit Tomb. Um See but like I never get like with a time ball. Like I honestly hate that card in some sometimes because I just get so unlucky with it. Um Right, so my opponent's burning through their deck, which I understand. Um Stormcaller is a great way to actually get out what you need. Uh, not really being worried about it. You've got to play a bit aggressively with it. Got another Gibble, which is quite nice actually. Um, do I Pulp Pad or do I use Lightless World? I think I use Lightless World. Um, There. I want to start try I really want to try and use Hippopotas for change. I never run it, so let me try and use it for change. Let's go Lightless World. Let's get those two back to my hand. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm liking this. Because the last thing is the Hippopotas will actually come in and get a KO. I should have put the energy instead of on that Gibble, I should have put it there originally. Because uh, this Hippopotas is actually really good in this matchup. Um, yes, yeah, so let's see what happens. I, uh, let's, I wonder if they have energies in their hand. If they unseen flash me this turn, that's going to be rather unfortunate, and I'm going to really regret not using Terrify. Um, please don't unseen flash. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, that that's uh, that's unfortunate. There's no two ways about that. That's very unfortunate. Because now this Raikou is scary. I thought it's actually having a really good game. Like, really good. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice Pokemon here. So let's do that. Goodbye, my friend. Um, let's put that over there. Let's bring back another, put down another friend just in case. I don't want to use Prof this, ooh, actually I can use Prof this turn. Because Hippoden does 50 damage. Which will get a KO here, but then this Ampharos comes in and then I'm not going to get a KO. But 140 won't get KO either. So I may as well use Prof this turn. Because the next one I can use Cynthia. Hey, that was worth it. Okay. Uh, now I'm wishing to put the energy there. Okay. Uh, that's me done. Alright. Um, yeah, now I'm really wishing I put that energy there. Um, I think I'm still going to bring this in just to get a KO and then see where it goes from there. So let's get the guard jump evolution going. Let's get the energies over there. I'm not going to use Cynthia then just this turn. I'll hold off on it until I can get value with guard jump. Um, I don't know if that's the right choice though. I actually don't know if that's the right choice. Because I'm not actually getting that much value. I'd rather use Cynthia. Problem is I'm losing Pulpad, but that's I guess that's okay. I'm not losing it, but it's going back into my deck. Oh that was worse. Ah oh, man, that's bad. That is a really bad hand. Oh. Oh. That's really bad. Oh, come on. I'm, yeah, the, I said now Raku comes in. Raikou comes in and then just ends my life with Lost Voltage. Oh man, that's frustrating. Now I'm regretting using that Cynthia. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe my opponent draws themselves out. I got 7 energies there, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They've used 13 energies so far. 
double check quickly. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They've, got, they've used 13 units so far, they've got 7 left. Um, huh. Let's just throw out a little sacrifice for now. And not what I needed. Not at all what I needed. Um, honestly, I'm going to nest ball into a hippo. Let's see what happens. This has not been a great video. I'm sorry, everyone. This really has not been a great video. Um, the issue is I'm finding this deck doesn't deal a lot of damage outside of its combo. Uh, it's very energy hungry. This deck is very energy hungry. Like, you need to get ahead early. And I haven't done that. Just bring out Garchomp. Um, I don't think Garchomp is going to stay there. Uh, Garchomp is not going to stay there. Okay, let us go for Detect Shenanigans and let's try and detect our way to victory. Because right now I need to stall. Okay. Um. What do I need to win? I need a Cynthia. I desperately need a Cynthia. Uh, or I need a Professor. And then, even after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because Nugget is going to come in and cause me problems. Um, oh man, the entire bench is going to come in and cause me problems. Amphros will cause me problems. Huh. I don't know how to claw myself out of this hole. Yeah, I don't know how to put myself out of this hole. I think I just got too far behind too quickly. So that's good. That's good because I can get a Cynthia. The problem is... Isn't enough. It's gotta be enough. It's gonna have to be enough. Let's retreat. Let us bring forward a Cynthia. This is gonna have to be enough. Let's use Cynthia. Uh, that's not bad actually. Um, let me use this to put both Cynthia's back in my deck. I don't want to use Pokemon Stretcher just yet. And then let's go for Royal Blades. Ah, now here comes the problem. I need... I... Oh, a big missile. That actually... This is clutch right now. <laughs> because it's going to get rid of paral uh, my paralysis. So I don't get paralyzed locked. Um... Yeah, that's actually huge. Okay. I'm pretty sure my opponent's running low on energy users right now. Also running low on cards, but hey. So they got two there. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus seven. They got 16 energies down. There's only four left in the deck. My opponent's playing that super close. They only got three left. I need to be very careful. So they got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20. So I think that's all their energy is done. So I don't think they have any energies left in their hand. Um, the problem is now they've won because they can hit my bench. My opponent is smart right now. They hit these two. Oh, there, that actually worked. I forgot the giveaway only had 50 HP. Oh man, that's frustrating. Okay. So let's do that. Um, what 
what's in my deck that's gonna help right now? Cynthia. Always is Cynthia. That's always the answer. Um, and I put that energy on, I think, Lucario. Specific for resistance. I think Lucario is the answer here. So let's put that there. And then let's use Cynthia. I don't even want to use Nesball right now because I don't want more Pokemon to be hit. Let's use Cynthia. Let's see if we get. Um, okay, and let's use Royal Blades. Scary thing is, this Ampharos in my bench. It's a huge, huge problem. Like, that's a, if they were smart, they would lock, not have that Gibble and knock, I'd put 50 on one of these because in this turn, this will be able to come in and knock out whichever Pokemon is left. Um. Taking 80 damage now, which puts me on to 70. Uh, yeah, that puts me down to 70. Um, hmm. What does my opponent do? There is the Marie. Um, how's my opponent knocked me out this turn? That's game. That's game, right? I'm pretty sure that's game. Yeah, because my opponent now draws themselves up, because I use this, I bring out Cynthia just to get the KO, but this KO doesn't actually matter, because I'm pretty sure my opponent just lost themselves the game, by not watching how many cards they had left in their, car in their um, deck. Because now I play Cynthia, I knock out Noggin Adele, And then they've got nothing. Because they bring whatever the Raikou makes the most sense. There's no card from going to draw no win. Why would you sprint there? Why would you sprint? Huh, oh, okay. Well, two for one. We got at least one victory today. Um, yeah, that was a bit of an odd ending there. But anyway. I'm not sure what my opponent was trying to do. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm still happy with this deck. It's it's like a, my, my first worry. My first worry was when I picked up this deck was it was combo-y. You needed you need to get Garchomp. You need to get Cynthia. You need to get Lucario. And because of that, it's a bit of a difficult deck to play. But it is certainly fun. Uh, I enjoy the deck, especially I love Garchomp because of zero retreat cost. I love Pokemon that have a zero retreat cost. It's so, so useful. So I think Max Strike is a good deck. It's not a great deck, but it's a lot of fun. It's a great deck to go second with. That's that's one thing I really enjoy. Uh, so card advantage, it's a fantastic, fantastic card. It's able to fetch what you need because of Ascension. And you can play super fast with it, but the fact that it only has one Lucario is such a problem. It needs two. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to have played it. It was, it was good fun. And this deck I do think I'm gonna play a bit off camera as well, just to have some more games with it. Cause it is a deck I enjoy playing. It's got like, I enjoy interesting mechanics. And I feel like that is a very interesting mechanic going for Ascension. So moving forward, our next deck is going to be the Imperial Command deck. And we're going to see how that goes. And then we're going to carry on working our way down. As a progress support, we are finished. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 decks so far. <laughs> of a lot. 
but we're getting there. So, so far, so far we're 18 decks down, which is crazy cool. So yeah, next up we'll be seeing the Imperial Command is the next theme deck I'm going to be taking a look at. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone. Please do consider liking and subscribing. I really want to push that 500. And yeah, as a reward, there's five boosters up there for everyone if we can get, well, for one person, <laughs> if we can get to 500 views. Uh, I'd love to be able to give everyone five boosters, but hey. Um, not 500 views, 500 subscribers. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks so much, everyone. I really do appreciate everyone watching. I hope this helped. I hope this is showcasing some older decks. I've certainly come across more older theme decks most recently. It might be because I'm using older theme decks, but I'm also hoping that the people watching are starting to use um, the older theme decks. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, it breathes some life into the game. It makes it interesting. It just, it keeps it interesting because it, it's not going up in the same deck the whole time. So yeah, anyway, as always, as I said, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hope you did enjoy it. I hope you had some fun. Um, I hope you learned from my mistakes, as always, because I know I make many of them. And yeah, thanks, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.